John here guys and today we're talking about the T motor 55 amp F722 stack and why it may just be the most powerful best well laid out most inclusive stack for a 30 by 30 mounted frame um, going into 2020 <laughs> is there anything better or more powerful on the market So the F7 Pro 55 Amp Pro 2 um, by T-Motor. Just take a quick second and just soak in the packaging on this thing. Outstanding job on that T-Motor. Um, and as we dive in, you have a couple of these cool stickers. The quality control pass. Um, this thing does have a high price, but look at this EAC. It is of the highest quality I've probably ever seen. It has like this pearlescent jewel in the middle with like a Superman symbol surrounding it. What does that mean? Is this made like on Krypton? Like, I don't know. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Is this the processor on board of this thing? Look at that. It says 6S4 and 132-bit EAC. This um, sort of aluminum heat sink on top of the ESC is, look at that, you can see through it. I mean, it's like a valve cover on a high-end sports car. Absolutely beautiful. And as we take this thing out, it has some substance to it. It's really quite striking. Look at the size and spacing on all those pads make it completely completely wonderful for the builder um, if you've built a number of quads you know just how nice it is to have an ESC with properly spaced pads and pads for power leads and motors on the bottom as well as the top um, some folks depending on the build it's nicer to do it on the bottom hide those wires make your build look incredibly beautiful I love that they give you that option there let's keep going um, my word look at the look at this look at this packaging this thing does have a high cost but you can tell it is absolutely premium oh look at the attention to detail they've given you this thin little plate um i do really love when flight controllers have a flat side to be able to mount your video transmitter and receiver to but if it doesn't having a little plate like this handy is the next best thing and this one is beautiful gold shining and it says rip it on there um, awesome let's take a look at the flight controller itself this is an f7 processor you can see it this is the uh, f7 processor you can see it on the underside right and you can see it on the underside right there Love how it has this little um, T-Motor F uh, thing. All of the pads are beautifully um, screen printed and you have the dual option pad with the hole in the center. So regardless of your preferred soldering method, you are completely covered here. I love that. And like, like, let's take a quick look at the layout itself. The board is orientated in this direction going forward. Now that does a couple of notable things for you. One, it places the harness to the back. Now why is that notable? Well, it's notable because um, in a crash, you're likely to have a lot of forward momentum. So a lot of times the harness jostling loose is the ones that have it in the front by moving one of these connectors to have the harness in the rear that makes it much less likely for that to happen now on this uh esc i believe yes so the esc would have the harness in the front and the flight controller would have it in the front uh we're having the rear look at the pad layout guys camera and vtx right at the front right across from each other Oh my 
goodness. Why is it so hard for manufacturers to do this? Someone at T-Motor actually builds quads um, because this is the best layout I've seen on any flight controller, period. Um, and then you have all of your other pads on the sides. Like I love the Diatone products, but especially like the Mini Mamba, they put all the pads you need all next to each other only on one side. This has it laid out um, all over the board. So your video system is all on one side and then your receiver will go over here. You got LEDs on the opposite corner. Oh, just beautifully spaced. I love this T-Motor. Well done on the pad layout. Look at the other thing that you notice is that the gummies are already installed, saving you a little bit of a step. Um, so they are going premium all the way. Two things that I have rarely noticed on any other um, flight controller like this. Let's keep going. Now, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Is that what I think it is? Are these stack screws? Did you give me stack screws? Oh, please tell me that those are stack screws. Uh, let's just keep on going. Removing this packaging. Oh, four stack screws perfectly sized. You know, um, even as somebody that keeps a lot of M2 and M3 hardware on hand, it's hard to find these length screws. Um, and of course you need different ones for different builds. But just that it comes with a set is so nice. You always end up looking for these. Um, when you buy those sets, the ones that are this length are the first to go. So you end up having a lot of other sizes, but not those. Here is your harness. No, no, no. Is it? Is it? It's labeled. Oh my God, it's labeled. Can you see that? It's labeled ESC on that side and FC on that side. Oh man, just another step to make it easier. Oh, and it comes with a spare. It comes with a spare harness just in case. A lot of us that are racers or or basher uh, freestylers know that sometimes these can get damaged. Uh, and having a spare is awesome. Keep on going, keep on going. Uh, it comes with a capacitor. Let's see what size it is. This is a kind of a smaller one. This is a 470, 35 volts. I'm probably going to use my own capacitor on here. I'm going to use a 1035. Um, comes with some nice battery leads. Uh, one minor gripe is when they do this, I like to put my capacitor on the, uh, on the pigtail like that. Maybe this one will be easy just to put on the flight controller. Um, so I'm not really sure where I'm going to mount it where it has holes on these uh, pads on the ESC. Um, so I could do it that way as well. Um, or maybe I'll just do both of those options. And then if we go back in here, we got more gummies. Um, I'm assuming that's for the ESC. I don't know why they put the gummies for the flight controller on for you, but not for the ESC. Like just give us both gummies. Uh, and then look at this comes with, look at this nylon nuts for the stack. That is the preferred way to go. Um, and they actually give you some, Oh no. Oh man. And they include race wire T motor golden race wire for you. Oh, so really really cool i'm um quite impressed t-motor uh a lot of times your products are pricey and this one is no exception to that but you get a lot for your money in this stack um probably the best um packaged the best pad layout the best set of accessories of any stack that i've probably ever reviewed um so let's uh we're gonna so we're going to see very soon just how well this performs um, because this is going in a uh, build that is really going to test this 55 amp ESC to the limit. I'm putting this in a build that is going to be 6 inch 6S with gigantic motors. And so we will truly be putting this to the test. So stay tuned, guys. That build project is coming up very soon on the channel. Um, one other note about the flight controller is look under those Camden VTX um, pads. You can see 
that you can select the power. It has those little jumper pads right there, right? So the left side, you jump if you want five volt going to the camera, right side if you want uh, VBAT. And then they have another power select on the other side for the VTX. So you can actually independently choose whether you want um, five volt or full battery power to each of those components individually. Wow, very impressive. Um, what do you think guys in the channel? Is this overkill? Is this too expensive? Um, if you want the maximum levels of security um, for your components, for your stack, if you want to be able to utilize some of the giant motors and giant props that are coming out for today for freestyle, for long range, uh, or if you want to be able to race and have a set of electronics that can handle everything you throw at it, um, I'm thinking this may be it, but we will truly be putting that to the test very soon. Thanks guys.